In this topic we are going to talk about phase locked loop or PLL. A phase locked loop is a feedback system combining a VCO and phase comparator. So connected that the oscillator maintains a constant phase angle relative to the reference signal. Phase locked loops can be used for example to generate a stable output high frequency signals from a fixed low frequency signal. So the purpose of using PLL is to produce a stable high frequency output and we will explain about this in details and uh, we have to understand that if we only want to use our voltage control oscillator we won't be able to produce a, a stable high frequency signal so we need a system like a PLL to fix the frequency for us before going to PLL we have to talk about a concept when phase between signals changes, it means that they have different uh, frequencies. So imagine we have two frequencies and these two, uh, two signals, let's say. And imagine that these two, these two signals has phase difference. So signal 1 with F1 and signal 2 with F2. How can we make these two frequencies equal? If, two, if these two signals has constant phase difference it means that our frequency is same is similar for both but if the phase difference between two signals is changing it means that we don't have same frequencies for two, two signals so here imagine that we have the VCO signal and we have a reference signal the VCO phase is changing and it's not stable so the phase difference between two signals is changing. The purpose of PLL is to fix this phase difference and force VCO to produce a constant uh, frequency. So basically we are trying to force VCO to follow our reference uh, signal. We are going to talk about this in details. First of all, we can say that yes, we have a mixer if you remember and we need a local oscillator so let's say we have a we need a signal here for 2 gigahertz so let's say we don't use a PLL what's the problem here why we use PLL why we can't just only put our oscillator here the problem is that VCO cannot produce a stable high frequency carrier because VCO is affected by temperature and noise so we are expecting to have a fixed 2 gigahertz frequency but uh, because uh, VCO is affected by lots of issues maybe we can get a, a, a frequency like 1.9 gigahertz or 2.1 gigahertz so we need a system to stabilize the frequency of VCO in this system we need a reference with a stable frequency and we force VCO to follow that reference so imagine that we have a reference oscillator which has a stable frequency and we have a VCO with not a stable frequency or let's say unstable unstable frequency so here imagine that this is uh, someone who has experience and is he is an expert and this VCO is amateur and he is making a uh, ama He's making mistakes, so basically we want this reference oscillator to teach our VCO to produce the right signal. So now there's a question that many people always ask about this and uh, they always uh, uh, you know, get confused here. The thing is that they say, okay, if we have a reference oscillator that can produce a stable frequency, why do we have to bother to make such a system in order to you know have a fixed frequency output signal so we just basic someone can say okay just this is our you know reference oscillator ref and we need the output signal just dr connect directly to the output here to the mixer yeah the problem is this we can say we, we can say that no this is not possible we can't just make a reference oscillator and connect it without having a PLL why 
The problem is that yes, we can make a reference oscillator with this table frequency, but there is a challenge here. We can make such a system with the only low frequency. Like a crystal. Which has a for example two megahertz uh frequency. So the problem here is yes, we can make a reference oscillator with a stable frequency which is not affected by temperature and noise. This is quite stable. But the problem is that we can't make a high frequency here. We can't make a reference oscillator with a stable frequency which produces a high frequency signal. So now we know what is the purpose of PLL. We have to make a PLL to produce a high frequency signal. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with pass status, RASAF would provide the RASAF radio frequency certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.